Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Mr. Rakshit and in this video we are heading to the Clifton campus to 3D print and laser cut a bridge and a support pier for my upcoming project. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and turn on post notifications for future updates. So we're at NTU Clifton campus and it's a beautiful sunny day. Um, just beside the students union shop. So we're going to get some of the models that are 3D printed from the engineering building. I think they're gonna 3D print it for me in front of me so that I can record it. But yeah, let's go have a look. We are now in the fab lab within the engineering building where the laser cutter is located. Today, we will be working with the universal laser system, laser cutter and the Denford exhaust system. The exhaust system sucks all of the fumes released by the laser cutting process. A laser cutter is an amazing technology used to precisely cut, make marks and engrave flat surfaces. This is done by emitting a focused, concentrated laser beam of light through a moving head. The ULS laser cutter is a 300 watt system that can cut a wide range of materials of a thickness up to 12 inches. The fumes released during the laser cutting process is extracted, filtered and compressed into cartridges which are disposed in line with safety standards. It is especially important that these fumes are not directly released into the environment as they may be harmful. So for this project, I am cut laser cutting a bridge which has to be assembled without using any glue. So the parts have to fit into each other. And thanks to the help of Zara who converted my Fusion 360 file into the file that is required and accepted by the 3D printer, the 3D printer recognized my bridge, the design and cut it out for me. It is very important that the glass hood of the machine be covered during the laser cutter process to prevent the fumes from escaping. So once the laser cutting process was done, the hood was opened and we took out my, the parts that we had cut out using the laser cutter. This was my first time seeing a laser cutter and using one. These are the parts that were cut using the laser cutter. So time to pack that in my bag and head to the 3D printing room. But they have a few Ultimaker 3D printing machines. In this part of the project, we had to build a 3D highway support pier which can support a 5 kg weight within a set specification. So the main goal of this was to design first for design optimization on Fusion 360 and printing it using the Ultimaker 3D printers, which by the way uses a 3D printing process called additive printing. Well, me being my curious self, I had to ask about how a 3D printer works so, and Zara was kind enough to explain it to me. So basically, how this works is this is the PLA filament. It pushes the filament through this feed. The feed makes a tension and it pulls it through 
It pushes it down this wire. And then this part here is a heater and it's got heating elements in it. It warms it up and then it pushes it through like a cone. And when it goes through the cone, um, it comes out and obviously it's like a, it feels like almost like jelly when it comes out and that will be the filament that warms it up. It needs to be about 210 degrees for it to melt and the bed size needs to be about 75 degrees, maybe a little bit less. And what happens is the glass bed, when it warms up, the filament bonds to it and it sticks together. And then when it cools back down, obviously it's cooling down now that the print is finished. When it cools back down, the cooler, like, you know, the cooler it gets, it like pops off the bed almost because it shrinks back up and then comes off. So yeah, that's how it works. I head down to print my support pier during the Easter break and luckily there weren't anyone else printing during that time so I could split my design into two parts and then print them on two different machines to cut the waiting time. It took a total of 50 minutes to print both the parts required for the support pier and we then after cooling pulled it out of the bed. Here is the assembled support pier which was later tested with a 5 kg weight and it meets the requirements. So after 3D printing the pier and laser cutting the bridge it was time to head back home. So here is a beautiful glimpse of the pavilion and the Clifton campus. Done with 3D printing, I realized I've actually made some mistake during the laser cutting process. My design didn't really meet the specifications, so some of the parts didn't fit. So I'll have to work on that again. To go back home, sit in front of the in front of Fusion 360 and work that out. So in the meantime, they have they have opened up some space to sit outside and some dining space. It's right here, they put a tent so you can come here and have your lunch, you know, whatever. Pretty nice idea though. Now that I mean outdoor dining is open, things have kind of opened up. But the pavilion does look beautiful today because it's really really sunny. So I'm in bus number one, which I took from just outside the campus, which takes me straight to city center. On the way back home, I absolutely love seeing the River Trent and this beautiful bridge every single time I go back home from campus. Thank you so much for all your support, for reaching 100 subscribers on YouTube. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for new videos and turn on post notification for future updates. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Take care.